Hello, my name is Mike Zawalski. I'm a storage specialist with the Levi Ray and Shelp Corporation of Illinois. This video is a new capability offered by IBM for its flagship storage offering, the DS8000. The new capability is called Safeguarded Copy. Data is the most important asset in your corporation. And since its introduction in 2004, the IBM DS8000 disk subsystem has been IBM's flagship product. It delivers industry-leading performance and availability to the high-end and high-availability marketplaces. It does this in both the mainframe and open systems environments. But as solutions evolve, so do the challenges facing them. Today's DS8000 hardware and microcode consistently deliver six nines availability, but that is no longer enough. Malware, hacking, abuses by privileged users, as well as application and operational errors are today's greatest threats to the availability of information and their protection. Led by regulators, the finance and insurance industries are the first being called on to step up to these new threats. Their experiences will help drive a new standard for data protection that will eventually be pervasive. Similar initiatives are also developing worldwide in regulations from groups like the European Union. The key requirements for increased cyber resiliency include added security to inhibit bad actions by privileged users, the ability to regular create and secure point-in-time copies of data, and functionality that enable a wide variety of use cases, duration of corrupted data. So how to be prepared? Proactively exploit current security capabilities in your infrastructure. Start small and build up. Build on your current high availability and disaster recovery infrastructure and investments already made by your corporation. Then practice, practice, practice. Let's look at some of the concepts and use cases for logical data protection. Logical corruption protection copies are just what their name implies, point-in-time copies of your data that are secure. These copies are stored where they are inaccessible to any system and require additional security measures to be accessed. The discussion of the logical data protection copy adds a new class of storage to the traditional source and recovery volumes used in traditional recovery scenarios. This new class is a group known as protection copies. They exist only for the recovery of logical data loss from hacking, malicious acts, et cetera, versus traditional data loss scenarios from things like hardware failures or natural disasters. These logical corruption copies can be used to assist with the recovery in a variety of scenarios, as we will soon see. The key is the creation of one class of copies available for a wide variety of uses versus the need for several copies of data for each usage case. The first is data validation. You need to make sure that your data is there and available if needed. This entails the use of the execution of regular analytics to ensure the early detection of a problem or the ongoing validation that no problem currently exists in your environment. In the event that a data corruption event does occur, forensic analysis is the next step. It needs to be determined what data was corrupted, when it happened, and what is the last good copy of data available. Having determined that, the next step is surgical data recovery. The ability to extract selected data from a good logical copy and restore that into your production environment. Finally, catastrophic data recovery scenarios still exist. 
complete recovery from a point in time copy can always be taken if no other valid option exists. This is synonymous with traditional recovery actions in hardware or natural disaster scenarios. You cannot have a logical data recovery capability without a solid hardware recovery capability foundation already in place and operational. Finally, you can add additional physical isolation on top of the virtual isolation provided by today's products. In addition to that, the distribution of tasks and responsibilities among the staff is a final layer of isolation. The focus of this video is to address IBM's solution to this problem, a cyber resiliency feature called safeguarded copy. It is a key component to IBM's response to the new non-traditional threats to customers' data, and it is offered on the latest models of the IBM DS8000 storage subsystem. The design objectives for safeguarded copy are, number one, the creation of multiple recovery copies of customer data. Number two, securing those copies of data to ensure that they cannot be compromised. Number three, the easy ability to recover from any of those previous copies without impact to your production. And number four, a design that does not consume limited resources like address ranges or UCBs for a mainframe customer. To provide logical corruption protection, the safeguarded copy feature provides support for up to 500 recovery points for a given production volume. These recovery points are called safeguarded copies. These copies are hidden from the host server. They don't consume device addresses or UCBs, and they are restored to a recovery system when needed and from that recovery system used to restore production data. Safeguarded copies cannot be created or deleted by using the DS8000 management interface. Administrators need at least two interfaces to create, enable, or to manage safeguarded copies. The IBM product Copy Services Manager is introduced and used to enable safeguarded copy tasks. The creation of user roles and authority levels within the Copy Services Manager product is used to provide for granular management of volumes and of tasks. The actual creation of safeguarded copies is very straightforward. You select the volumes you desire from the Copy Services Manager GUI, click on those volumes and the action you wish to create for them, and then click on Create for the new safeguarded volumes and specify capacity multipliers. The significance of that last point is creation of multiple copies is always going to take space. Analysis of your environment with IBM tools will tell you how much space is needed based on the number of copies and the duration of time you intend to keep them. All the management functions for safeguarded copy are done within the Copy Services Manager product. It can reside within the DS8000 on the Hardware Management Council hardware, or it can be outboard in a customer-supplied server. In the simplest of terms, the safeguarded copy feature managed by Copy Service Manager provides customers with an immutable point of recovery. Once created, they are outside the field of view of production systems and users. They provide yet another level of security for customer data protection and build upon, but do not replace, existing high availability or disaster recovery systems. Functions like flash copy continue to be used in customers' environments and are not replaced with, but are supplemented by safeguarded copy. Safeguarded copy is not only secure, but it is efficient. Of course, having additional copies of your data is going to take space. That's a given. But to the extent possible, safeguarded copy has been designed for efficiency.
To minimize the impact on performance, safeguard copies run on the fastest tier of storage within the DS8000. To reduce the capacity required, it takes full advantage of thin provisioning. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, is integrated with existing DR and high availability configurations. If you take nothing else away from this infomercial, remember this, get started. Anything you do now will make your recovery efforts easier down the road. Start with exercising the functions the DS8000 offers today or introduce the DS8000 into your environment. These functions include data at rest encryption, two, three, or four site recovery in both high availability and disaster recovery modes, support of hyperswap, which provides for automated disk failure, and GDPS, which provides for automated site failover. Secondly, visit IBM's security page regularly. And finally, engage IBM Cyber Resiliency Services for an assessment of your environment and what steps can be taken to enhance your security posture. In closing, a short word on air gap protection. In addition to all the previous discussion, you might consider also the use of an air gap copy of your data as a last line of defense. The pervasiveness and the efficiency of data networks makes them ideal conduits for spreading malware. Air gap protection is the best available defense against pervasive corruption. As the name implies, air gap protection provides an additional data copy. It can be resident in the cloud. It could be resident in an on-premise virtual tape library with logical worm capabilities, or it could be on an on-premise or off-premise physical tape library. The thought being to backstop all of your logical corruption copies with a final copy of data that physically cannot be touched because of its isolation. IBM's position has been almost since forever. The disk isn't going to fully replace tape. These are complementary tiers in a storage hierarchy. Each has a place and a purpose. IBM continues to invest in disk flash storage, as well as tape and cloud products to make sure that customers have the greatest range of recovery scenarios available to them. If you need more information, you can go to IBM.com or Google IBM Safeguarded Copy. There's plenty of reading to keep you up at night. Thank you very much.